It was weird. It was weird to watch my own face move in a weird kind of way. Hi everyone, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here today. This channel is dedicated to helping busy and ambitious women and moms 40 plus, just like you and me, keep our busy lives moving forward. I cover a variety of topics that are related to the beauty industry so that we have quick pieces of information and we can keep going. I mean, none of us have hours and hours to spend on YouTube and there are so many videos and so many great content creators that I try to keep these videos below 20 minutes. Sometimes they get a little bit lengthy, but that's only if it's a long tutorial. And I like to cover things like skincare routines, makeup tutorials and product reviews. So I can spend money on the products and let you guys know if they are worth your money or not. And sometimes there are some that just are not. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're going a little bit futuristic. We're staying in the beauty realm, but we are tackling AI. We're not really gonna tackle AI. I'm not even sure how you would do that because it's like, it's like the cloud. It's kind of there and you're not really sure what it is. AI stands for artificial intelligence and you've probably heard about it all over. It's hard to turn on the news or podcasts or YouTube or Instagram without hearing about AI right now. So I thought, all right, if AI is really becoming a thing and it is a thing that is not only having voices and movement and faces, is there room for it in the beauty industry? And if so, what would it look like? You guys, I am amazed at how today's video turned out. And if you don't know how the format of a video works, typically I will film the entire video and then I will film the intro because then I have an idea of how the video went and what I did include and what I didn't so that the intro can lead you through the story of how the whole video goes. And I'm here to tell you that I am in a little bit of an awe because as I filmed this video, I was shocked at how this worked. I'm gonna walk you through all of it today. It was a little weird and it kind of freaked me out. The ease of it was interesting, but also a little bit scary at the same time. Let me mention that this necklace is by Melinda Marie. It's the one of the necklaces that I wear that I get asked about all the time and I forget to link it down below. So I'm doing that at the front end of the video so that I do not forget. It's right here on my notes. It's about an inch and a half, I would say. I will link it down below in case you're interested. I wanna know what you guys think of this whole AI thing. Leave me comments in the comment section below, please. I love reading them. And I'm gonna share with you just how simple AI can create a beauty video, a beauty tutorial, for all of us here on YouTube. The first thing you wanna do is go to ChatGPT. In my case, I'm using a Mac, so it's MacGPT. And I'm just gonna type in preventing under eye creasing. And just like that, you'll see how fast these answers come up. And when you start to read the answers, you guys, it would take me a long time to do the right research to make sure that these are actually correct. But when you look at them, this is exactly the steps that you would use for under eye creasing. And that took under, what, seven seconds at the most? Now, when you take a look at the answers that they gave us, it's the first answer. So you may not want to use the very first answer that you get because if someone else also typed that same question, then they would get the same answers. And if you both publish the same things in a blog, for example, it would be a telltale sign that you used ChatGPT. And if you read through each one of these, it's somewhat structured, a little formal, not necessarily my style. So the next thing you can do is go down to the bottom and say, give me a new one, regenerate the answer. So it will go through and do it a second time with a little different twist. Maybe the words aren't exactly the same. The style's a little bit less structured, a little more free on the content. Maybe it's not as articulate with each of the sections. So that might be more your style. And for purposes of today's review, we're just gonna go with it. Now all you need to do is simply copy all the information that you want, and then we're gonna take it over to another platform and paste it. All right, you guys, so the next thing that we're gonna do is go to this company, to this website called studio.d slash id, and this is a video company that creates a text to video from an AI perspective. I use the free trial practicing, so now I'm just gonna to go to login, and when I hit login, it's gonna take me to create video. Now, when you go to create a video, 
you can place any person to speak if you want. But because it's a beauty video and it's on my channel, I uploaded a picture of myself. It's super easy. You just click add and download a picture from your photos. Now I'm going to come over here to script or audio. If I wanted to choose audio, then I could simply read the content that I picked up from chat GPT, record my own voice, and that way it would be my face and my voice. And I really didn't have to record it. It would all be automated, but I wanted to show you different options. So I'm not going to use my own voice. We're just going to cut and paste what we got from chat GPT. And you can see it's all right there. Now, because I like to start my videos, hi, I don't like to start my videos. Hi. I like to start my videos saying hi. <laughs> it's uh it's 10 30 right now you guys at night so forgive me uh hi i'm jody welcome to my channel i'm really glad you're here it's much easier to say it than it is to type it so this whole chat gpt ai someone else saying it for me don't worry it's not happening all right, so there is our steps on how to prevent under eye creasing. The next thing that I want to do is I need to add some spaces because I don't talk with run on sentences. So we're going to go right here and create a little bit of a space. I'm going to come down here and add a 0.5 or a half of a second of a break. And then we're going to go right here, a half of a second of a break and so on. Now here's where it gets kind of fun and I have to admit I played with this for a while. You can choose which voice you want to be you if you didn't do the record audio. And you can start that by selecting what language you want the person to speak in. I'm gonna stick with the US English version because that's how I talk. All right, then we can go to a bunch of different voices so you can sample which voice works best for you. So we've got Jenny first. So let's see, maybe Jenny's going to work for us. Let's see what she sounds like. Hi, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here. Under eye creasing can be a common concern when it... All right, your voice is okay. It's pretty close to mine, I guess. Let's go to Anna. Hi, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm... Nope, that's not going to work. Um, all right, let's go with Monica. Hi, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. Ooh, Monica's gonna, okay, let's go. I like Monica. Monica it is. Now we're going to go down to style. All right. Now if we go down to styles, it looks like we can't get any other styles with Monica. So I'm going to go back to Jenny. And with Jenny, we get more styles highlighted. I don't know why that's the case with this platform, but those are our options. Then I can assign how I want Jenny to sound. I mean, it's preventing under eye creasing. So there is a reason to be really excited about that. Let's, let's, let's give it a shot. Hi, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here. All right. That might be too excited, even though it is under eyes and we'd like to get rid of the, the creasing. Let's go with maybe, I don't know. I just want to try all of them. Um, let's, we don't want to shout, but let's sound terrified just for fun. Hi. I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here. Okay. All right. All right. I know. Sorry, guys. I can't help it. It's just too much fun. All right. Let's go to cheerful because that's how I hope I would sound. And with a simple click of a button, we're going to click generate video. So now let's check out this AI video. Get your popcorn and then I'll meet you guys at the end of it. Hi, I'm Jody. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here today. Under eye creasing can be a common concern, but there are several steps you can take to help prevent it. Here are some tips. Keep your skin well moisturized. Dry skin can contribute to the appearance of under eye creases. Apply a gentle, hydrating eye cream or moisturizer daily to keep the delicate skin under your eyes moisturized. Like, how is it Protect doing your that? under eye area from the sun. Sun exposure can accelerate the aging process and lead to the formation of wrinkles and creases. How are my lips Apply moving? sunscreen or wear sunglasses with UV protection to shield your under eye area from harmful UV rays. Get that enough sleep. So Lack of sleep can make under eye creases more noticeable. That is so Aim weird. for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night to give your skin time to repair and rejuvenate. That's what it said. 
Use a primer or eye base. Oh gosh, Applying a primer so or eye base specifically designed for the under eye area can create a smooth surface and help prevent creasing of makeup products like concealer or foundation. Choose oh the right God. makeup products, opt for lightweight, hydrating concealers and foundations that are less likely to settle into fine lines and creases. Avoid heavy, cakey Her formulas that can works. emphasize under eye wrinkles. All right, you guys, so was that not weird? It was weird. It was weird to watch my own face move in a weird kind of way that wasn't me at all, but it was actually really seamless how they took my mouth that was just a smile and made it move and every once in a while tilted my head. And to take the words from ChatGPT and simply insert them into this software and let the software do the magic. And I'm sure we're not far off from the avatar me, I guess it's an avatar of me. Is that what we'd call it? I don't even know what we would call her. <laughs> it's so weird. It's just so weird. But I don't think we're far off from having that person or thing actually then do the motions. In fact, it's probably already happening. I don't know. The whole thing is just weird, but I wanted to bring it to you guys just to show you how far advanced this whole AI thing is and how easily it can be adopted into almost any industry. So let me know your thoughts on this. I thought it was weird. So if you say, Jody, that's totally a weird video of you, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I get it. It was weird for me to watch it. I can see so many ways where this technology is going to evolve and really embrace and somewhat smother us in our life. There's already a ton of information that's come out on how interesting it can be, how useful and helpful it can be, but also how dangerous it can be in the wrong hands. So as this all unfolds, I know you're as interested in it as I am, skeptical, curious. There's a whole list of words that we can use to describe, at least I know for me. I'm just not sure how it all fits together, but I also feel like I felt this way when the internet first started coming out. That sounds like I'm really old, and I'm sorry for those of you that were born when the World Wide Web was already a thing. But yes, there was a time when it, it wasn't. Well, that does it for me, you guys. My avatar person and I are going to be done for the day. I wish you a great rest of your day, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.